Hello everyone, this is Tech Bismo, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we have a Dell Latitude E6430, which I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive and random access memory in this model. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started. So, just to show you the inside, here is a here is my Dell Latitude E6430. It's a very, very nice laptop. Uh, this is my... Um, my daily driver, it's a very nice machine. This one is, uh, comes with a Core i7 um, third gen uh, clocked at 2.9 gigahertz. Um, so yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started with the process of upgrading the RAM and the hard drive. So I already have the RAM upgraded in this video. Um, however, I'm still going to be showing you guys how you can do this uh, in this model. So let's get started with that. So. First of all, just go ahead and flip your laptop over. I always like to just put some kind of um, microfiber cloth down like that. And there you have your laptop. Now what you want to do, you want to go ahead and slide the latches over and lift the battery out. And there is my six cell battery right there. Uh, it actually, it, it, it's, it holds a pretty good charge, you know, it's good enough for what I need. Uh, so we'll set that aside. Um, <clears throat> So next, what you need to do, you need to get a pretty small Phillips uh, head screwdriver, if you can see that right there. Uh, a pretty small one, you know, just to fit it uh, perfectly with the, uh, screw with the screws on the uh, laptop case. Uh, this is a magnesium case, so it should be um, okay if, you know, you need to put it through any paces or something. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this process. So you want to go ahead and just remove... Uh, a couple of screws. The total of screws that you need to get rid of is um, uh, five screws. So it's one right here, one right here, and one right here, and two over here where the hard drive is. I'll show you right there. So one and two, these are where the uh, hard drive uh, is right there. So I'm going to remove these screws. Let me actually get out my uh, screw magnet dropping some stuff, but let's get out my screw magnet. So yeah, a lot of times you might want something like this. It's just a, you know, basic magnet uh, that I use for uh, whenever I am taking apart uh, computers and stuff just so that uh, all the screws are nicely in place and they don't fall off the desk and stuff. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish removing all these screws. <clears throat> So you got that that one right there uh, in the corner. We'll put that on the magnet. So yeah, this is what I'm just doing. I'm just setting them on the magnet like that. So yeah, it's a very cool uh, little little thing to do when you use a magnet. And it's, this is a very cool laptop. Like uh, it's very accessible, very easy to upgrade. Uh, you know, it's very close to what you get with a typical everyday desktop. So yeah, now. <clears throat> You want to go ahead and remove these two hard drive screws that are over here. So there, there are two screws there, the same exact um, Phillips screws that are in the uh, in the corners and in the middle of the uh, magnesium uh, cover as well. So now, after you have removed all of these screws, you want to go ahead and press this button right here. Uh, and this is where the uh, optical drive is. You want to press this button and then pull out your optical optical drive, and it comes out very nice. It's a very nice optical drive as well. You know, I'm pretty sure this one's a, a, a CD DVD rewritable drive. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice one. So we'll just set that aside as well. Um, so now what you want to do, uh, if you want to, this is optional, if you want to upgrade your hard drive to an SSD or just upgrade the capacity of a hard drive, uh, you want to go over to here where you took out the screws and pull it out. And as you can see here, mine is an SSD. Uh, this is actually in a SATA adapter. Uh, originally, this is actually an mSATA um, to SATA adapter because the uh, SSD in here is a mSATA 256 gigabyte. This, this, um... This computer originally came with a uh, 320 gigabyte, uh, two two and a half inch drive. Um, yeah, it was a um, I believe Western Digital, um, Western Digital Scorpio that was Scorpio Black. So after you have done that, you want to go ahead and just get the back off. So you can easily do this by just 
prying the back off on both sides and I'm going to fix that. Here we go. Okay. Actually. Okay, there we go. So now after you have done that, it, sh it should easily pop off just like that. And then you have access to the, uh, the whole computer. So here is the bottom of the, of the uh, computer, you know, the uh, magnesium cover. Um, you know, it's very strong. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's made of a very strong material. Um, you know, it's a lot better than uh, what my Acer Aspire F15 came with. And here you have access to your RAM. So right here, I currently have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. This does take uh, DDR3 RAM, so, you know, you can use Dell branded or, you know, Kingston. You could just use Samsung. You could pretty much use any brands you want as long as it is um, DDR3 SD RAM. That is, um, if you are curious, it is DDR3 SD RAM. Um, so yeah, and to, to remove the RAM, uh, hopefully you guys can see this well, uh, you just go ahead and slide these two clips out, and there, this, this top, um, this top dim is called dim A, uh, and then the bottom one is called dim B, so we can set that RAM aside, and then, you know, you do the same steps, and then just remove the RAM on the, on the, uh, dim B. Uh, at least I believe it's that way. It's either the other, it's either that way or the other way around, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's labeled dim A and dim B, um, for all I know. So, yeah, it's a very, it's a very simple laptop, very easy to upgrade and do and configure, do whatever you want to. This, and also a, uh, a good thing about this, uh, laptop, the, uh, the CPU is not soldered into the motherboard, so say you needed to upgrade that or, you know, the CPU died. You know, you just need to easy, easily buy a new one and upgrade it. So after you've done that, after you've upgraded your RAM, you simply just go ahead and start putting things back. So uh, a lot of times, there goes my, my screws. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll have to angle it. Uh, on, this mo on this specific model, you'll have to angle it like that and then just press down. Um, yeah, it's very simple. So now after you have done that, you can go ahead and slide your hard drive or SSD back, you know, your upgraded one. Uh, and also to upgrade, uh, when you are upgrading the hard drive to SSD or SSD to a larger SSD or, you know, so on, etc. Um, there will be a little screw right there that you have to get rid of. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little screw you have to unscrew and, you know, and these little caddies as well, these little uh, hard drive holders. Um, they come in handy and they came with my hard drive um, to keep to make it fit as uh, pretty well. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and slide your two and a half inch drive back into the laptop and then go ahead and grab your optical drive and slide that in as well, like so. And then you are ready to go ahead and screw these screws back onto the laptop. So. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this um, while you guys do it as well. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's a very simple process when you want to upgrade and configure this laptop. Um, a lot of people say that you have to remove the uh, keyboard, these two keyboard screws right here, but that's uh, actually a lie. You don't need to, so, you know, just, just a little waste of time um, added on with that, so. Yeah, what I normally do is I always do the uh, back first, and then I start working on the um, area with the two and a half inch uh, drive SATA area, so that it works well. And yeah, as as earlier I told you, I put a uh, microfiber cloth to uh, keep the laptop from scratching and sliding. Um, <clears throat> you know, that might be something to come in handy. That's what I always use for my. Um, for my disassemblies and stuff. So yeah, just put in this screw and we have one last screw and then the battery to insert. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. And there we have it. So now go ahead and grab your battery and just insert that back into the laptop. Uh, you'll just have to give it a little bit of an angle and then just press down and there you have it. So, yeah, you are done upgrading your laptop. So, as you can see, my uh, my uh, wonderful Linux stickers and LifeProof sticker right there. Uh, you know, I just decorated my laptop a little bit. 
Um, <clears throat> so I guess now what I could do is go ahead and boot this up to BIOS and show you guys that it does have 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's all it's all genuine. So we'll go ahead and boot it up into BIOS. Sorry, it's hard to see. So go ahead and do that system information. So yeah, this is gonna be kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you yeah you can't see that. Hold on, I'll stand up with it. Okay, if you if you could see that, it says um, memory installed 16 uh, 16,384 megabytes. That means 16 gigabytes. So you are good to go. Well, anyway, guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.